Hi, I'm Roxy Jasenko. I'm super excited to be here for the Women Who Lead series. I own Sweaty Betty PR, the Ministry of Talent and Social Union. The clients that we work best with are the ones that are like family to us, so that we can have a chat with and we're, you know, we're friendly. We are interested in what they're doing, they're interested in what we're doing beyond just work. I always find that if it's a family type environment in work capacity, it works. You know, it's, it can't be an us and them in business, it has to be a family type, give a little, you know, and, and you'll get a lot back. Um, it's not the way with everyone. You know, when you're working with huge custom customers, sometimes they come and go. Marketing manager's going to come, change the world, and then leave the next week. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the biggest thing, that it's a relationship. You know, what was interesting about Glam Corner was that it was unique. I'd only seen a very few, you know, there were only a few other dress hire companies. No one had really invested in it. It was like a side hobby. They had a very small collection. You, as a brand, came in and it was all guns blazing. You were there, you were going to deliver on it. If you were going to start it, you were going to go gung-ho. And I liked that. It was like me. You know, and when I started, I was like, it's now or never. If you're going to do it, you don't sort of take baby steps. You go, right, we're going to hit this hard. And that's what you guys had. Um, so for me, it was an exciting thing. Also, I didn't have any experience in tech. Um, so from that perspective, you know, I was very, pre I was predominantly fashion PR at that time. And what Glam Quarter brought was fashion and tech together, which was where the world was going. And you know, and that was years ago. So you were well ahead of your times. You were well ahead from you know the, the delivery, the, the speed, the imagery, the website. And I mean, you've changed ten times since then. But back then, you were very you know you were very advanced. This was like sort of a household business, other people. Whereas yours was a serious operation. So for me, it was exciting. Fashion rental has become huge. You know, I think we can thank Instagram and social media for that because I know that if I've worn one particular outfit once, I certainly don't want to be wearing it again because then people will be like, but she wore that on Instagram two weeks ago. Fashion rental has changed that. Now there is absolutely no need to be caught in the same garment twice. Also the fact that, you know what, girls feel great in a great garment. Now, not everyone has four, five, six, seven hundred dollars to spend on that special play suit from Alice McCall or a Nicholas dress, but they actually can now because at rental prices, they've got the opportunity to look fabulous all the time at a fraction of the cost. So I think it's very acceptable. I mean, I do it. I've had you know more comments from, for instance, a floral Nicholas dress with the self-colored belt on a boat than I have in a Dior number. Um, and I had to buy the Dior number outright. <laughs> so it's really interesting. It's A, very acceptable. I think we can thank social media immensely for the fact that we now want to change up our looks all the time. Um, and I also think that, you know, fashion changes all the time. Who wants to spend that $500 on a garment you may wear three or four times through a season when you can get four garments for that price and send them back? One of the most important things I think in business is to continue evolving. You know, yes, Glam Corner is doing incredibly well, but unless you continue to update your collections, improve your technology, improve your customer service, you plateau and you can't continue growing. It's not similar for me. You know, Sweaty Betty is flying. I continue reinvesting in my business. I continue trying to offer more. Well, my offer more was a digital agency so that my clients can come to me and we can book their sponsored Instagram posts, their sponsored blog posts. And then off the back of that is Social Union, which is another, again, another facet to the business, which is content creation. So that's flat lay, stop motion videos, um, management of Instagram and social media accounts for clients. You know, I think continuing to reinvest, reinvest reinvigorate, regenerate, it is so important in business. You can't just think, oh, well, we're there. We've made it. We're done. You've never made it. You've got to keep pushing. You know, the second you become complacent is the second you fail. So continue rebuilding, renewing, refreshing. And that's for me what I've done. You know, Sweaty Betty became Ministry of Talent. Ministry of Talent then became another business social union. What's next? I don't know. And I know you're going to ask me five years' time. I don't know what's for lunch. Wow. <laughs>